as, as I indicated in, <clears throat> in my earlier comment. I mean, uh, you know, essentially the, the same population pool pretty much, and, and they've garnered over this 215-year period a, a remarkable share of the world's wealth. Uh, and it's an interesting question as to just why this group of people here have been able to do so much better than the rest of the world, considering we're not any smarter or anything of the sort. Uh, 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 it's not an economic castle anymore. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it that. <clears throat> what we do is no secret. And I think that the relative importance of America, I mean, when, you know, we have, we have been a dominant factor in the world and post-World War II. And I think it will decline somewhat, although I'm not an alarmist on that, but I think to some extent the rest of the world or much of the rest of, or some of the rest of the world is catching on and adopting some, you know, sort of best practices, as they say, in industry. And our, our castle will grow in size, but there will be more castles around it. And I basically think that's a very good thing for the world. I think the more prosperous generally the rest of the world is, uh, uh, you know, the, the better generally it will be for us. And, I, you know, I've talked about our trade problems. The more trade we have, the better. We had 1.1 trillion of real trade last year in the country. We would have with the world, and then we had another 600 billion, six tenths of a trillion, that unilaterally we bought. Well, I, I would love to see the 1.1 trillion grow and grow and grow. It'd be good for us and good for the rest of the world. But I don't think that our prosperity will come in the future, will come at the expense of the rest of the world at all. Uh, and I, I do think that there were parts of the world that will grow uh, economically from a lower base, but much faster than the U.S. And basically, I think that's that's a good thing. I mean, there's six billion people in this world, and a lot of them don't live very well. And, and I would hope that 20 or 50 years from now, that it's a higher percentage of them would live well, and that it, but I don't think it comes out of our hide at all. Charlie? Well, I don't think it comes out of our hide in that sense, but if we are... Well, I don't think it comes out of our hide in that sense, but... If we are now the richest and most powerful nation in the world, and 50 or 100 years from now, we're now the richest and most powerful nation in the world, and 50 or 100 years from now, we're a poor third to uh, some country in Asia. Uh, sure, we're richer, but it's a peculiar type of richness where you've lost your relative position in the world. Uh, it's not all, I think. If I had to bet, I would bet that the part of the world that does best is Asia in terms of percentage gains per annum. Yeah. And, uh, and I think it might do amazingly well if it doesn't blow up in some way. And if it does amazingly well, it will eventually be a much richer place than, than ours. Mm -hmm.